Hey, it is good to see you here, beloved. Thank you for accepting my invitation. I'm glad you dress up like I've asked. You're gorgeous. A gorgeous fool. <laughs> you always act so surprised when I call you gorgeous. Do you doubt the truth of my words? I never lie about things like beauty. I'd say you should show yourself off more often. Oh, but I get so jealous. I'd loathe it if I had to share such beauty with the rest of the world. How do I look? You flatter me. It's not often I feel compelled to go all out like this. I love this outfit. Thank you for agreeing to meet me here. I was worried you didn't get my letter. I know it's considered odd to send a handwritten letter in our times. Anyways, did you enjoy my calligraphy? Thank you. But I think my skills have improved over the years. Do you like this place? This garden is closed off by all these townhouses. Every block in the city used to have one. But now, most of them have been divided up by the homeowners. Not this one though. And I made sure we have it all to ourselves on this enchanted night. Circuit places like this are my domain. Where I'm at my strongest, my most confident. Anyways, won't you take my hand? Dance with me for a while. I'll lead you through it. Alright, let's start. We start in an open position. One, two, three. Four. We touch hands. Make eye contact. I smirk like I know something you don't. It only lasts a second. Five, six, seven. Open position is a place for teasing. For brief moments of intimacy. Gone before you even finish your breath. Like snowflakes that melt when they touch the ground. But I don't want that tonight. I want to be close to you. I switch my hand and pull you closer. One, two. On three, I'll lift my hand over your head and give you a spin on four. Five, you drift away, but you feel a firm pull and I close the gap once again. Six, and then pull you even closer. Seven, we're in close position now. I entwine my left hand with your right and place my right on your back. Cheek to cheek, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and repeat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You smell less, beloved. You remind me of a place I can quite remember. This is an important night, you know? I told you that first night. Three kisses, and you're mine forever. Kiss number three comes tonight, if you should desire it. If you shall dare. <laughs> Do you remember the first one? It felt so long ago, doesn't it? The one that's covered in ivy and has those lovely hanging baskets that explode over the sides of flowers. One of my quiet places, not unlike this one. The sun was stubbornly hanging low in the sky, painting everything a touch red and gold. You are sitting there at the outer table, staring off down the tracks. You were so gorgeous that night. As soon as I saw you, I knew I had to have you. I swept you off your feet for one golden hour and then left you there in the moonlight. Wondering if I had just been an illusion, a flight of fancy, a wonderful dream. Oh, but I'm for real, aren't I? 
I was so real. And I came back. I sprinkle myself of real life. Like cinnamon and cream. A little here, a little there. Always just out of reach. Teasing. You turn around and I'm there. Then gone just as fast. You are curious. Then fascinated. And then enraptured. Then that one rainy night, I showed up at your door. I'd pick up just the right stuff for dinner for two. You let me in, and we made dinner together. Your home is one of my magical places now, you gorgeous fool. It was a wonderful night, wasn't it? Then, while we were washing dishes over your kitchen sink, my hand touched yours, and we kissed softly as the rain tapped on the window. That was kiss number two, two-thirds of the way to eternity. One more, and you become mine forever. I want to emphasize the words mine and forever. Forever is a long time, you know? So long a time. Mountains will crumble to dust and float into the sea. And you will still be mine. Glaciers will tear through the city and retreat a thousand times. And you will still be mine. The stars will burn out one by one by one. I'll walk along the shore and watch them fall. I'll gather together the warm black stones that are their hearts and give them to you. Because even then, you will still be mine. The sky will turn red and the earth will crumble beneath our feet. The sun will die, heaven and earth will collide, and we'll be all alone in a different light. The space between atoms will grow faster than the entire universe, and you will still be mine. Three kisses, and your fate is sealed. Is that truly what you desire? Aren't you a little afraid? Do you think I'm joking? Because I am very, very serious. There's no backing out. I never let go what's mine. I'm greedy, confessious, and cruel. If you think this is a game, you can go right back out of the way you came in. I don't let my possessions play games with me. I get so terribly impatient when that happens. Aren't you afraid I have an ulterior motive? I never lie, but a word eternity can be twisted in so many beautiful ways, can it? You think this is a daydream, but I can take you into a world of nightmares without even blinking. Do you want to risk that? Do you really want to play with magic? Maybe I'm a vampire. I'm going to slowly drain your life away until you're nothing but a desiccated corpse. I'll lock you in a sarcophagus and you'll try to scream, but won't be able to get even a wheeze past your dry, dusty lips. And I'll walk by with my next victims year after year until I've built an necropolis. And you will still love me. Maybe I'm a sorcerer. I'm going to steal your soul and place it into a doll. You'll sit there in my room with your glassy eyes and watch eternity flow like a river, longing for a straight touch from me. Ruining a day, you'll let me trick you, and you will still love me. Or maybe I'm a time traveler. Tonight, I'm going to take you to the absolute end of eternity. A place nobody can return from unchanged. A place with no beginning or end. And will vanish forever like a pair of tragic lovers. And you will still love me. So many mysteries. 
you won't know unless your lips touch mine for the third time. You don't know enough, do you? And yet, he seemed ready to take that leap. My brave, brave little fool. Forever is a long time, but when I look into your eyes, they feel like it won't be long enough. Are you prepared for the most likely possibility though? I live in a single wide on the other side of town. When I get home from dancing in the moonlight with you, I kick off my shoes, pour myself a glass of box wine. All these magical mysteries are nothing but a red herring to my true nature. I will still love me. So many possibilities, but you're dauntless. I knew we'd get here as soon as I saw you. Fate is fun like that. It was chance to run. Don't take it lightly. Forever is a long time, beloved. <laughs> See you no more. One, two. I dip my arm down and guide you out of this close position. Three, four. Another throw. Then we drift apart. Five. Uh uh uh. You don't get to go any further. I pull you closer. Six. I cradle you in my arms. Seven. Steps and three kisses. This part three in that. One final step. And eternity begins. It's too late to back out. See you on the other side. You gorgeous fool. Seven. 